Hello again. I am here to read to you a story and I'm dedicating this reading to my elf king who struggles sometimes getting motivated to do his art. The title is I Don't Draw, I Color and it's written by Adam Laird Hot. I hope I pronounced it correctly. And it was illustrated by Felicitas Sala. I picked up I Don't Draw, I Color at the Comox Library. Visit your libraries. They are great resources for incredible books. Some people are really good at drawing. But my puppies look like mush. My cars look like lumps or like boxes, or this. I actually think his drawings are pretty good. Do these look like people to you? Uh, I didn't think so. I don't draw boys and girls. I think these drawings are very good. They have a lot of detail. Facial expression, look at fingers and the hands. I color. When I color, I can express myself without drawing anything by using different hues. Red. Oh, I wonder what the next color is going to be. Let's see. Blue. Yellow. What do you predict the next color is going to be? Hmm, I'm kind of thinking maybe with blue and yellow, I think it makes green. So maybe the next color will be green. Let's see. Ooh, I see green. And by changing my lines, thick, thin, squiggly, jagged, I can show Happy. <laughs> oh, I'm sad. Angry. Mm, calm. I can even show scary or something full of life. So when someone asks, do you want to draw? I say, no thanks. I don't draw, I color. And I can color anything, can't I? What makes you, you? Hmm. Create a self portrait. Oh, I'll have to give that one a try. Am I a dark and sad blue? Or a bright and happy yellow? A messy dark brown or an excited orange. I am more than just one of these things. Sometimes I'm happy, other times I'm sad. I've even been messy, excited and scared. I'm a whole jumble of things. Look at these lovely colors all mixing and blending, almost like a squirt of paint. All tumbled together, a colorful masterpiece. What colors are you? I'm going to have to do a portrait and I think I'm going to ask my elf king to do a portrait too. Boys and girls, mums and dads, this is a brilliant book to help us express not just what we see, but what we feel, our emotions. Colors express emotions, and so, as the story portrayed, do lines, whether they're thick or thin, soft or jagged, curved or edged, 
they all express a certain feeling. This is a great book to start with if you're starting to talk about feelings.